Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, or AOC as she's more well known in the political circles, she is the Democratic Socialist from New York. Now she went to the Met Gala, an event which apparently cost about $30,000 per ticket, wearing a dress that said, tax the rich. Now apparently she didn't actually pay for the ticket, that's another issue. If you want to say, tax the rich, and you want to go to a function, a gala, where a ticket costs $30,000, and you're mingling with other rich people, and you wanna make them out as the most evil people of society, well, what the hell are you doing with them then? But the issue with the dress isn't just that it says tax the rich and the hypocrisy, the stunning hypocrisy for her going to that actual event with those other rich people. No, apparently the designer of the dress that says tax the rich hasn't actually paid her taxes. Now that is the height of hypocrisy and champagne socialism. So we're gonna take a look at the dress in question at what she wore at the Met Gala and have a look a bit deeper into these claims of tax fraud by the designer of the dress. So don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share this one out and let's take a look. So from the New York Post, there's uh, AOC there and Aurora James, her designer of the dress. Now let's see what it says here. Designer Aurora James called her tax the rich dress for Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez a quote, powerful message, but it's not one she's taken a heart. Okay, what do you mean? So the 37 year old fashionista who made waves at the Met Gala with Democratic Socialist AOC last week is a notorious tax deadbeat with unpaid debts dogging her in multiple states, record show. Most of Lux Living James's arrears center on cultural brokerage agency, an LLC she formed in 2011 to serve as the parent company of her fashion brand, which today is known as Brother Velis. It's a favorite of people like Beyonce, Rihanna, and Meghan Markle. Yes, that powerful symbol with Harry standing behind her. The company racked up three open tax warrants in New York State for failing to withhold income taxes from employees' paychecks totaling $14,798. The State Department of Taxation and Finance told The Post. So the debts which were incurred before the pandemic stem from 2018-19. The company has been hit with 15 warrants in total since 2015. Between April 2018 and 19, the IRS placed six federal liens on cultural brokerage agency totaling $103,220. They specifically cite the company's failure to remit employee payroll taxes. The IRS declined the comment on the current status. $103,000 was owed to the IRS totaling from 2018 and 19. For a dress which Democratic Socialist AOC right here wore, and she's the designer, Aurora. Now that's the dress there. Tax the rich on the back and the uh, behind. Yep, so that's her there. Now what gets more interesting is, despite the tax worries, the designer was still able to buy a $1.6 million Hollywood Hills home in September 2020, which the Post reported she currently still owes two and a half grand on in property taxes. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom, master bedroom fireplace, backyard hot tub. It's it's a champagne socialist life. You cozy up to Congress people who are democratic socialists, who are arguing for the rich to be taxed more, democratic socialism to be implemented. All the while, you're not paying taxes and you're owning million dollar mansions. And look at this place, look at this place. A former worker who got fired told the Post, I experienced a lot of harassment when I worked for her. Aurora would ask me to do things that were not in anyone's job description, like scheduling her gynecological appointments. The work environment was so hostile that I was afraid to ask for my check. Wow, she sounds like a top boss. Even further into this, according to records, she also doesn't pay her rent. In August 2020, James's landlord filed papers to evict Brother Valise from their location, wherever, in New York, and demanded more than $25,000 plus interest for staying beyond the end of her lease. So the case was settled, but the details weren't clear. And then she was also sued in 2018 for more than 5,000 in unpaid rent in another New York address, still yet to comment, but she wants to parade around with AOC making a dress that says tax the rich, and she's got a bag too that says tax the rich. Meanwhile, the person standing next to her who designed the dress, owns a $1.6 million mansion, not paying her taxes, being investigated by the IRS for multiple cases. Meanwhile, Democratic Champagne Socialist wants to parade around with rich people 
who she despises so much, apparently, takes a ticket for 30 grand to go to the Met Gala and dresses with a tax the rich dress. Oh, stunning and brave from AOC's designer, avoiding taxes, running supposedly, allegedly a terrible work environment where her employees feel scared to even ask for their paycheck. These people do not care about the people they're representing, obviously. Performative wokeness is the new game and AOC is embodying it literally with that dress she's wearing. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this one out and I'll see you in the next one.